Hi everyone, welcome to my channel ASCOR Academy. Today we are going to see naming convention in database. Okay. So rules for user defined variable, attribute, table or function. That means what by creating any user defined variable or any attribute or any table or any function, we must follow certain rules and Today we are going to study the rules for creating user defined terms. Okay. The very first rule here is what? It should begin with an alphabet. Okay. Example, I have taken int rule number. This is a variable rule number of type integer. Okay. So basically what I'm trying to tell you here is we must start a variable with the alphabet. Okay. Alphabet, that means what the beginning letter must be any character or any alphabet, right? Likewise, here also, let's see at the next line over here, roll number int. So, this is saying what this is the attribute, roll number of type integer. So, attri attribute is starting with what? A alphabet, okay. Next, create function sum. Again, this is a user defined function, okay. That means what? The function name must start with a uh, start with an alphabet, right? Likewise, here also create table student. This is what the table name, and it is starting with the alphabet called as S. Okay, so this is what the very first rule. While we are defining a variable attribute, or we are creating table, or we are creating any user defined function. Okay, that means what it should begin with an alphabet. Next rule is what? There must be more than one alphabet, but without any spaces between them. Okay? We can take group of alphabet. Okay? There can be more than one alphabet, but when we use the group of alphabets, then there must be no space between this. So, here you can see this is the example. Okay? Roll number, right? This is the example roll number. You can see there is no space between this alphabet. R, O, L, L, N, O. There is no space between this roll number, okay? Likewise, here also there is no space between this attribute, okay? And there is no space in the function name, okay? There is no space between the alphabet of the function and there is no space of between the name of your table. Okay, so this is the very second rule. That means what we are, we can make use of more than one alphabet, but the, we should not use any spaces between them. Okay, let's see the another rule. Digits may be used, but only after alphabet. Okay, we can make use of digits, but only after the alphabet. So here you can see this is how we can uh, take the alphabet uh, take the alphabet and write the digits after the alphabet okay so this is what rule number 33 this digit 33 right so it is after the characters or after the alphabets likewise here also this is the attribute which is having digits 1 and 2 right again this is after the alphabet likewise for the function name also we can make use of likewise we can create the table with the digit but only the digits are allowed to be taken after the alphabet it can be somewhere middle also okay in between only the thing is what it should not start with the digit the digits can be in between or it can be at the last okay so this is what the third rule next rule is what see rules for user defined variables the fourth rule is what no special symbol can be used except the underscore when multiple words are needed, an underscore should separate them. Like you can see, this is the example int roll number underscore 33. Okay, roll number underscore 12, your sum underscore 16, student underscore 2. Okay, so here you can see uh, the underscore is can be taken in the beginning over here. You can see the underscore is taken in the beginning over here, right. And here you can see the underscore is at the end. This is what the use of underscore in the beginning and this is what the use of underscore at the end. And you can use the underscore like this also teacher underscore any other word. Okay. 
तो सेपरेट टू डिफरेंट वर्ड्स वी मेक यूज ऑफ द अंडर स्कोर तो अंडर स्कोर कैन बी टेकन इन दिगनिंग एट द एंड और इन द मिडल ऑफ द एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ द वेरिएबल जस्ट टू सेपरेट द टू डिफरेंट वर्ड्स ओके नेक्स्ट नो की वर्ड्स और कमांड कैन बी यूज एज ए वेरिएबल नेम ओके तो एग्जाम्पल सी दिज आर द की वर्ड्स ओके दिज आर द की वर्ड्स दिज आर यूज एज द की वर्ड राइट तो वी कैन नॉट मेक यूज ऑफ दिस वर्ड्स वाइल क्रिएटिंग यूजर डिफाइंड वेरिएबल्स एट्रीब्यूट फंक्शन ऑफ द टेबल नेम्स ओके तो दिस कैन नॉट बी यूज एज ए वेरिएबल ऑफ द एट्रीब्यूट मीन्स ओके नेक्स्ट ऑल यूजर डिफाइंड वर्ड्स आर केस सेंसिटिव ओके ऑल यूजर डिफाइंड वर्ड्स आर वॉट केस सेंसिटिव लाइक वी कैन से रोल नंबर नॉट इक्वल टू दिस रोल नंबर सिंस इट इज ए केस सेंसिटिव तो ऑब्वियसली स्मॉल आर इज नॉट इक्वल टू कैपिटल आर तो दिस इज दिस आर वॉट दिस सिक्स रूल्स वाई वी हैव टू कंसिडर वाई वी आर क्रिएटिंग एनी यूजर डिफाइंड वेरिएबल एट रिव्यू टेबल ऑर द फंक्शन ओके थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू हैव इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट प्लीज कमेंट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब इट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग इट